Hey, what's up guys? Escoblades back with another video commentary on my alternate channel. This is some COD 4 gameplay and I'm just going to talk a bit about it this time. As you can see I'm rocking the P90, I've got Bandolier stopping power and uh, martyrdom. Yes, I can hear you all groaning about martyrdom, but it has its uses as you'll see in this video. It, I use it mainly just to, um, just to get those little pesky bastards that get me who shouldn't have because you know no one should kill me in this game I'm only joking but anyway this map crossfire um, can go either of two ways you can get it infested with snipers who will just ping you down down range from the middle um, or you could get a lot of close quarter fighting on either side of the map um, I generally because I'm obviously a Russia and I play with SMGs a lot I generally tend to stick down them down the sides either the, to the right or left stick in stick in cover and stick within buildings uh, because I have the advantage there um, I should really have got that guy there, but you know, and martyrdom should have taken him out. But that's that's exactly why I use martyrdom for situations like that, where it's just sort of I can still get that kill. Um, yes, some people were killing me is cheap. Hey, here yeah, my spidey senses were tingling. This was an awesome grenade because that is a heavy traffic area, and so you can always post yourself up behind one of these uh, little you know cabinets, and um, you'll be able to put peek people off. Um, this is another technique I use here, standing behind this corner. Um, the only thing that can really get you is a well-cooked grenade or, you know, stuns or flash that are thrown properly. Like, in that case, he's throwing them a bit too far, so they're not going to affect me. And people usually come in, check in the front. They don't check behind themselves. And, of course, you can always pick them off. Now, here, I should have called in my airstrike to get my helicopter, but because I was still in Modern Warfare 2 mode a little bit, um, I've forgotten that, in actual fact, you know, my, my helicopter would override <laughs> my my airstrike. And so I'd gone for the helicopter here, trying to pick this guy off. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a drag shot there. Uh, so I'd, yeah, I'd gone to get the helicopter, forgetting that, of course, I don't get my airstrike after it. Uh, so, you know, that's something that as I play a bit more of this game, getting back into the feel of it, I'll remember to use my airstrike to get my helicopter and uh, not the other way around. So yeah, you can see throughout this whole game, I stick to, I'm going a bit of a beast mode here now, my helicopter picking off people, and then I just find their spawn, and I just proceed to absolutely rape. Um, but yeah, I, I stick to the sides, and I don't really venture down the middle. These guys weren't particularly skilled anyway, at least their snipers weren't, so it wasn't too much of a problem, but if you're playing against a good team of snipers, you will absolutely hate this map by the end of it, especially if you try and go down the middle. If you even poke your head out, they're just going to ping you from, from range. And for an SMG guy like myself, yeah, that's no good. So you'll see here, I'm just going straight down the middle. I'm, just like, I'm going back to their spawn, rather, because um, I know they're still spawning there. UAV is always extremely handy for such things, because you know when the spawns are going to switch. There's always an invisible demarcation line on every map that um, on Team Deathmatch and to a certain extent on Domination, that once you pass, will force the team to spawn on the other side. So if you know where those are, um, if you see someone going Rambo into the other team's spawn, you can expect the enemy to start spawning behind you. And it's at that point you want to be turning and watching your back. So at this point we know the spawns are switched here, we start heading back that way. And this this area here where I am, to the right hand side, there's always usually a lot of fighting going on. A lot of people come out from that building heading that way, so I can usually pick them off. Um, this wall is always good for <laughs> covering your ass when you need to reload and stuff. And I should have got my helicopter. And what's coming up here is a little bit of a annoying... But yeah, I, I should have killed that guy. I don't know why I didn't. But uh, he was too far for the martyrdom either. But anyway, I drop a fail airstrike here. Uh, as you can see with this score, it's coming up to the end. And we didn't really have too much of a problem with taking these guys out. Um, like I said, it was just a quick gameplay that I wanted to bring to you guys. I'm really enjoying my quad. But this is what happens when you venture into the middle. <laughs> Even though I got, I got flanked to a certain extent. But... You know, against a good team, the moment you venture out into the middle like this, you'll get your head taken off. So, you know, I'm gonna gonna play a lot more of this. Um, I still have a few gameplays I can bring you guys, but I'm definitely gonna be playing a lot more of this because it's renewed my love for COD, at least COD 4 anyway. I had so much fun when I used to play this game uh, on a regular basis. So anyway, wrapping up this gameplay, and um, yeah, you'll see the score at the end. We all did pretty well. Um, I think I went. Uh, uh, yeah, there you go, 25 and 4. So this is Esco signing off for now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.